There is no end in sight for Adani Group's troubles. Shares of Adani companies continued their sharp plunge for the sixth straight session on Thursday, taking the losses to over $100 billion and counting. Trading on Indian boards in five Adani Group firms was halted after shares hit a lower circuit. A lower circuit is when trading is stopped in shares of companies which hit a lower limit. That comes after the business empire cancelled its uh, flagship firm's $2.5 billion share sale. Arani Enterprises, uh, whose stock crashed nearly 30% on Wednesday, said that it was working with its bankers to refund investors who had committed to, the, to, to buy the new shares. After a fully subscribed FPO, yesterday's decision of his withdrawal would have surprised many. But considering the volatility of the market seen yesterday, our board strongly felt that it would not have been morally correct to proceed with the FPO. For me, the interest of my investor is paramount and everything is secondary. Hence, to insulate the investors from potential losses, we have withdrawn the FPO. The company's shares had plunged about a third on Wednesday, marking its worst day ever. Hours before the company called off the shares offer or the FPO late on Wednesday, a Reuters report quoting a source said that India's securities regulator, SEBI, was looking into any irregularities in that deal. The SEBI is also examining the Indian conglomerate's stocks plunge since Hindenburg's allegations last week. Now questions loom large on the group's decision. What seems certain, though, is that retail investors have lost their confidence in Adani. That was clear despite the Adani Enterprises shares offer being a success because only 12% of retail investors had signed up for the offer. Large investors had stepped in and bailed out the Indian Empire on Tuesday, which was the last day of the FPO offer. Still, it seemed Adani had recovered some investor confidence after that FPO, but it got worse after a large global brokerage firm, Credit Suisse, stopped accepting Adani bonds as collateral for marginal loans. Brokerage firms give their clients loans to cover for any market losses in their holdings by giving some security as collateral. Credit Suisse assigned a zero lending value for Adani firms' assets. Now a Reuters report shows that Citi will not accept Adani securities as collateral for marginal loans to clients. Gautam Adani has lost his crown as Asia's richest and he is dropped off the top 10 wealthiest billionaires list as well. There seems to be no let up in the crisis for the Indian empire, at least for now.